Hello guys. In this video, I am going to explain how you can study the electrostatic problems using a simulation software. Here in this video, I am going to explain how a software called Finite Element Method Magnetics FEMM, can be used to study the electric field distribution in simple electrostatic problems. First of all, you need this software. So you need to visit this website to download the software. Go to femm.info. And from this page, you can see here, download link. Click on download. And here you can see, based on your operating system, you can either download 32-bit exe file or 64-bit exe file based on uh, your operating system, whether it is 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, for my system, I tried to install 64-bit, but uh, when I tried to run the software, it gave me an error. So I went to the older versions uh, here. And here, from here, I downloaded an older version, which was uh, FEMM 4.0.1. So you can also try it if you have troubles in um, using the software 4.2 version, then you can also uh, download and install an older version. So after I install the software, I open the, um, open the application and here, here is it. So this is how it looks like. So first of all, you need to go to file and click on new. Okay, when you click on new, it will ask you uh, what kind of problem you are trying to create and simulate. So here, because we are trying to solve electrostatic problem, so we will choose from the drop down menu, electrostatic problem, and then click OK. Then you need to go to properties. And uh, sorry, you need to go to problem. And from here, you need to choose the dimensions, uh, whether you're using millimeters or centimeters or whatever. Here from the drop down, drop down menu, you can choose millimeters, for example. So I'm gonna choose millimeter and planar geometry because uh, you can, uh, because I am trying to solve a planar problem with two parallel plates. So I'm gonna choose planar. You can also choose axisymmetric. Axisymmetric are like cross-sectional views. For example, if you are trying to solve a cylindrical problem, then you have to choose axisymmetric and you need to then draw the cross-sectional view of a cylinder. Okay, so I'm gonna choose planar and millimeter and then I'm gonna click okay. Okay, then um, my problem is to create um, to simulate electric field distribution between two parallel plates, one at high potential and the other one at ground potential. Okay, let's start. So from here, I need to choose first here the node. Okay, click on the node. It's already clicked by default. So I'm gonna put my nodes, uh, one node here, another node here, another node, uh, here and another node here, okay? After I have put these nodes, then I need to connect these nodes in order to uh, make it uh, like a plate. So I'm gonna click on this line here and then click here first. You can see this node has become, has turned red and then click on the other node, okay? Now you can see a line is drawn. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with my lower two nodes and I got another plane. Okay, then I need to enclose this in order to limit the simulation, in order to limit the uh, calculation points for the solver. So I'm gonna enclose this in, a, uh, uh, in an enclosure. So I'm gonna choose again, I'm gonna choose nodes. Okay, so I'll choose these nodes here and here and here. So then I need to connect all of them. So I'm gonna choose line again. 
Okay, so it is done. Now I need to define the properties. What kind of properties? What kind of insulation material I have or dielectric material I have between these two parallel plates? So I need to define the properties of the material as well as I need to define the boundary conditions. So I need to define uh, what is the potential at this electrode or at this plate and what is the potential at this plate, okay? So I will go to properties. First, I am gonna go to the material. So I will choose material. Okay, now I will, I don't have any materials added, as you can see, it's empty. So I'm gonna add a new property. So I will add air. So I have air and the relative permittivity of air is one. So put one relative permittivity in the X and Y direction both. So one, one click OK, and then OK. Now for the, for the plates, I need to go to the properties again, then I need to define boundary conditions. Go to the boundary, and here also no boundaries are defined, so I'm gonna add new property, okay? And this upper boundary is, for example, I'm gonna make it uh, high voltage and fixed voltage, and I'm gonna define voltage, for example, 1000 volt. Okay, and okay, done. Then I'm gonna define new another boundary, which is ground, my lower plate. So ground and zero voltage. Fixed voltage, okay, done. Now I need to assign these properties both for the material and for the for the boundaries. I need to assign them in my model. So then we need to click on this one. Uh, you can see here, this green button, and I will click on here. Now you can see here, none, okay? So I have, uh, so far, no properties are defined for this material. So I will right click on this one. Okay, I have right click, I have right click. Now I will press the space, space bar of my keyboard and then you will see uh, a pop-up window will open, which will show, which will lead us to choosing the, um, choosing the property of this material. So I have already defined air. Now you can see here air. So I will choose air. And also I can create, I can define the mesh size as 0 0.1. Mesh size is uh, the um, set of points, for example, um, created in our in our model where the calculations will be will be made by the solver so uh, 0 0.1 is usually a reasonable size okay so now i can see here air so i have defined all the material between the plates and the uh, all around in the surroundings i have air as my dielectric material or as an insulating material then now I need to define the define the boundary. So then I will choose line again. Then I'm gonna right click on the line. Okay, now you can see the line has turned red. Then I'm gonna press the space bar again. Okay, now you will see here the boundary properties. Here I'm gonna define it as Acme. So my upper plate is at 1000 volt. So HV represents 1000 volt, which I have already defined. Okay, done. So now I will do the same thing for the lower plate. So lower one should be at the ground potential. Okay, so now all set. The model is, is complete, and now I need to uh, create a mesh. Mesh means I need to define the number of points for, uh, for the solver to solve for this electrostatic problem. So I will click on this, this button. Okay, so, okay, it is saying that data file must be loaded or current data must be saved. So I need to save this file first. I forgot to save it. 
So save as, I'm going to save as, for example, test one. Okay. So, okay, now it is saved. Now I'm going to click on this yellow, yellow button again. Okay, you can see here the mesh is created with uh, 1749 nodes. Uh, so you can also see the uh, mesh size, which is a reasonable size, and number of nodes are quite sufficient to have our precise calculations for elect electric field, electric fields, and potential contribution in this uh, in this uh, assembly. Okay, now in order to see the results, I'm gonna click on this one. Okay, so now simulation is done. First, we created a mesh using this button, then we solved this problem using this, this button, and now I'm gonna look at the, I will, I will observe the result. In order to observe, you need to click the goggles. Okay, now here we can see the color density plot for the potential. So as we had the upper plate at high potential, so you can see here the upper plate has um, has dark red color and or maroon color, whatever. So you can see here the values are given: 9.5 into 10 raised to the power two, which is uh, almost uh, 950 50 volts. So it is uh, uh, and it is. Uh, close to 1000 1000 volt from 9 from 950 to 1000 volts so these uh, this color represents uh, our 1000 volt or high volt and this color below blue color represents our our low voltage or close to zero you can see here almost zero potential uh, if i want to see equipotential lines i can also see equipotential lines you can click on this one so and then click on show equipotential lines so it will show you equipotential lines how the equipotential lines are, are distributed okay so i can also see electric field vectors so click on this arrow and choose here so electric field vectors so you can see how electric field vector vectors are uh, are uh, aligned or distributed. I can choose its scaling factor to two. You, now you can clearly see the arrows. So electric field is uh, directed from high voltage or high potential to the low potential or low voltage, as you can see. And we have uh, uh, we have a fringing effect and we have non-homogeneous distribution of electric fields. You can see near the edges and also around the and also outside outside the uh, region of parallel plate assembly. Also, uh, you can see color density plot for currently the color density plot is for potential potential distribution. Uh, we can also choose color density plot for the for either electric flux density or electric field distribution. Choose electric field. Okay, now you can see here. Let me turn this one off so that. We can observe the electric field clearly. Okay, now you can see here electric field is more or less constant between the plates, and electric field is is uh, high at the edges of our plates, as you can see. So again, here, uh, here as you can see, you have uh, almost yellow color, which is representing this much voltage, this much uh, electric field level, which is. Uh, 7.65 into 10 raised to the power 5 volt per meter okay and here we have little bit darker colors which means the electric field uh, is little bit stronger here and this is in the range of uh, for example 1 into 10 raised to the power 6 okay so which is uh, which is clearly a higher value okay now um, if we want to observe the properties of any point so for example, how much is the value of electric field potential and electric flux density D at any of these points exactly? Uh, we can go to view and we can choose point props. 
okay you can choose point props and then you need to click on this one now when you click on and it's click at a certain point you can see the coordinates point x and y are shown here these are the coordinates also when you move your cursor you can see the coordinates here on your um, bottom left uh, corner of your software okay so this point this specific point which we clicked uh, this uh, at this point we have voltage approximately 1000 volt obviously it should be 1000 volt because it is very close to our 1000 volt head now electric flux density is also shown here uh, and electric field uh, electric field strength is given as 1.09 into 10 days to power 6 volt per meter okay and now if i want to observe how much is the electric field electric field uh, strength in the middle which is a uh, homogeneous so if i click on this one now you can see here this is 6.6 uh, .6 into 10 raised to the power 5 which is clearly um, much smaller value compared to the electric field at the at the corner at the edge so this proves that electric field is is stronger at the at the edges okay so moreover uh, you can also uh, plot the either electric field or voltage distribution from point 1 to point 2, for example. So let's choose. So for this one, in order to plot, you need to draw a line first. So I'm going to draw a line. So right click on, on one point and then right click on another point, just opposite, for example, here. So now you can see a line, almost straight line. Okay, so now you need to click on this graph. Okay you need to click on this graph. So I'm going to click on this graph symbol. Now, if you want to uh, want to plot uh, voltage, plot potential, so click on choose uh, V. If you want to plot ele electric flux density, if you want to plot, plot electric field vector, electric field intensity, and so on. So you can choose any of these variables. So first, I'm going to see uh, how is uh, my voltage distribution, potential distribution. So obviously, potential will be high at the upper plate at the high voltage plate then it will gradually decrease actually it will linearly decrease and until here at this point my uh, potential will be zero so click ok now you can see here clearly so potential at the at the upper point is 1000 volt because the upper plate was uh, was at 1000 volt then it uh, decreased linearly until our lowermost point uh, where the potential was zero okay similarly you can also you can also plot electric field so electric field is more or less constant it is a homogeneous electric field between the plates so we should observe a constant pattern so i'm going to plot uh, normal field intensity because here we have almost uh, normal electric field as we saw from our vector vector plot vector diagram okay click on okay now you can see here okay electric field is uh, is changing so electric field is uh, slightly uh, electric field okay let's let me check the total electric field intensity so magnitude of electric field intensity okay so this is more or less constant this is more or less constant here, which is uh, 6.65 or 6.68. So the difference is not that much from 6.65 to 6.68 into 10 raised to the power 5. So more or less constant, but there is a slight variation in, in the electric field. Okay. Now, if we want to study the electric field strength at the edges, okay, so let me let me see the pattern at the electric for electric field strength at the edges so obviously electric field will be stronger um, at the start and also at the end and electric field will be um, smaller at the uh, in the middle so i'm going to choose electric field strength magnitude of field intensity okay you can see here at the start electric field is higher than electric field is is uh, in between we have 
more or less constant then electric field is is higher again at the at the edge of the other plane okay so in this way using this software you can study electric field distribution you can study uh, electric flux density distribution you can study potential distribution you can see equipotential lines you can plot uh, uh, different parameters you can see the vector plots and so on so this is uh, this is not that much powerful software but still it is it is good enough to uh, study the electric field distribution for, for some basic geometries thank you very much